Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make Xbox 360 dashboard shortcuts for non-Microsoft apps, such as Homebrew or Backup Games. This is a good thing to do if you don't want to use a third-party dashboard, such as Aurora, and you just want the OG dashboard. Then you can have all your Homebrew apps and games in the My Games tab, like you would if they were legit games. So first go in the description below and get the Quick Boot file. Uh, I've left a download link down there. Get the folder and open up quickboot.exe. For this demonstration I'm going to be using this on a GoldenEye 007 game. So to make a new shortcut click Add Entry. And in here we need to fill in all the details. Under Name I'm going to click on this and change it to GoldenEye 007. The path is where the shortcut goes to find your game, so what I'm going to do is connect to the console via FTP and find out what that directory is. And I'm going to locate my game on my hard drive, so mine's in here. And then we're going to copy the directory, so mine is slash games slash XBLA golden I007. So we're going to copy that into the path. We don't need the bit where it's HDD1 and as you can see when I've copied it from FileZilla it's given me forward slashes but for this to work properly we're going to need to use backslashes so I'm going to change those. The executable is telling it which file you want to launch so mine is already called default.xex as are most games so that's going to be fine. If you're using any homebrew apps, then this might be different. I know Aurora is aurora.exe, uh, Dash Launch has a different name, so double check what file or what app you're going to be launching and you can change this. The icon and description don't seem to work on the newer dashboards, so I'm just going to leave those blank. Down here in settings, we can change it to games on demand or game demo. This is purely cosmetic. Um, if I'm doing homebrew apps, then I like to choose Game Demo, but um, since this is a game, I'm going to pick Games On Demand. With all the boxes filled in, we can click Build, and we're going to click No on what you would like to upload to your Xbox, because I've not found this to work. So, click No. And then, it's told us the folder here, which it's saved our shortcut in, so in the Quick Boot folder. So, we're going to go to Content. And then the one with all the zeros, code 9, 007, and here it is. This is the shortcut file. So the way I like to do it is just to copy the whole content folder. So let's go over to HDD1 on the Xbox and in the Quick Boot folder. And simply drag over this into the main directory. And now you can see over here on the Xbox, we do have the GoldenEye shortcut. So... Now we're going to give the console a reboot and we can see if it's worked. So now we're on the Xbox dashboard after a reboot we can go over to games like we usually would. And there we go, GoldenEye 007, let's see if it works. And the game's loading as it should. So that's it for today's video, if you did enjoy this leave a like, if you have any questions or concerns leave a comment and thanks for watching.